Welcome back to Danganronpa. Attention, attention! Please gather in the gym as soon as you possibly can. Quickly, 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 quickly! That's never good. Huh. You're the last one. Everyone else is already inside. Aren't you gonna go in? I have a bad feeling about this. More than just a feeling, probably, Monokuma did call us together after all. Sakura? Makoto. If something happens to me, Hina. Huh? I'm sorry. No, never mind. So then. I'm. Who would ever believe in someone who doesn't believe in themselves? Um, Sakura? Everyone must have heard the announcement, and once we were all gathered at the gym, it began. Okay, let's get the show on the road. You're about to give us your next motive presentation, aren't you? Hmm? That's right. You got us all together to present another motive, right? Is he right? Huh? We have to go through this again? Ah, <laughs> uh, no, not again. I can't take I it anymore. See. I'm impressed by your level of dismay. You finally see just how low on the totem pole of life you really are. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not it at all. We're not here to talk about motive. Today, I'm feeling black. The reason I gathered you all here is so I could get rid of my grudge. Your grudge? Why? We have a grudge against you, of course, but I don't recall you ever having a grudge against us. Hmm. I told you yesterday, didn't I? An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. <laughs> Stop beating around the bush. Just tell us what you're talking about. <laughs> well... You've already told everyone how you might be working as a spy for me, right? 
come on. Yeah, so what about it? In other words... Well, today I'd like to tell you about that spy. Hey, um... So guess what? <laughs> the spy is actually Sakura. He said it so openly, it made it sound like it wasn't that big of a deal. Even though he just revealed a huge secret. What? What did you just say? He said the spy is Sakura. What is this? What are you talking about? You're a liar. There's no way Sakura is a spy. Right, Sakura? Huh? Sakura? <laughs> and I might just make Sakura fulfill the promise she made sometime soon. And if she doesn't, I can't be responsible for what might happen to that hostage of mine. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. What you guys choose to do with that information is up to you. Thrills, chills, kills. Roast her, boil her, kill her, don't kill her, whatever. I can't wait! I can't wait! Either way, I can't wait. And just like that, he was gone. Finally, I understood what he had been talking about. An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. In other words, betrayal would be met with betrayal. Huh? What the heck? So what does this mean? Is it true? Has Ogre really been spying on us for the mastermind? What are you saying? There's no way. But that is what the stuffed animal said, right? Wrong! You're wrong! Well, he's wrong. There's just no way. Hey. Well, Sakura, if he's wrong, all you have to do is tell us. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. What? Oh, no! Then he was being serious. For serious, Ogre's been working for the mastermind. I'm sorry. <laughs> so you've been lying to us all this time? Huh? It's not true. Sakura was probably being controlled. There's got to be some reason. She didn't have a choice. She was just forced to do it. Yeah, I'm sure Hina's right. The mastermind probably threatened her somehow, and Sakura had no choice but to do what she was told. <laughs> what? You're talking like you know that for a fact. Because I do know it for a fact. Because I saw it. I saw Sakura and Monokuma fighting. And that's where I heard it. Monokuma mentioned a hostage a second ago, right? And during their fight I heard Sakura say she decided to fight against the mastermind. You saw all that. The mastermind took a hostage, so you were forced to swear loyalty to them, right? But in the end, you made up your mind to betray the mastermind. What? Which means Sakura isn't our enemy. She's a friend who we can trust without question. Is that it? Hmm. 
Ridiculous. Do you live in some sort of alternate reality fairy tale? Not possible. She was the mastermind's tool. You absolutely cannot trust someone like that. Impossible. He's right. We can't just believe whatever she says now. How can we even be sure she really did betray the mastermind? Maybe this is a double bluff and she's still doing exactly what the mastermind wants. What are you saying? Sakura would never do that. Okay then Sakura, if you really have cut ties with the mastermind, tell us who they really are. Well. I'm sorry. Sorry, I can't. Even I don't know that. What? You don't know? That just makes you all the more suspicious. But please! She's telling the truth. You have to believe her. Don't make me repeat myself. Shut up. I'm not finished Come questioning on. her. Next question. What's this about a promise the mastermind ordered you to do? I was told to kill one of my friends. It suddenly felt like the temperature in the room had dropped 20 degrees. The weight of those words. I see. So even now you've taken aim on our lives. Wrong! You're wrong! I'm telling you, Sakura would never do that. You don't have to yell, we can hear you just fine. Don't you have an inside voice? That's terrible! It's because you're not listening to me. Wait. Please stop, you don't need to defend me anymore. <sighs> I have to take full responsibility for this. How do you intend to do that? <laughs> By destroying the mastermind. What? I... I'm going to challenge them. Even if it means we both go down, I will defeat them. I'm sorry. That is how I intend to take responsibility. Huh? Hold on, what do you mean if you both go down? Hina. I'm sorry I didn't tell you about this. Huh? What? I'm sorry. I didn't know what to do. I went back and forth about confiding in you again and again. Well. But I was scared. I thought if I told you, you might think less of me. But, but. Sakura. I'm sorry. Sakura turned away from us and left the gym. And then... Announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Hmm. <laughs> Well, it's night time. We should all go to bed. No way! Hold on. This whole thing with Sakura is... Don't make me repeat myself. Over. She's our enemy. There's nothing more to discuss. That's terrible! No, Sakura is not our enemy. Why? 
Why doesn't anyone understand her? What? What is it you think you understand? You didn't even know sh who she really was. What is this? That's... Calm down. Let it go for now, Hina. Talking about it isn't going to help anything. Why? Anyway... Go to your room, cool down, and we can continue this discussion tomorrow. It was the worst. The mood at the end of the night was just the worst. Being in such an awful mood. We were honestly glad the day was over. Sakura is the spy. She's the traitor. Byakuya said Sakura is the enemy, but he's wrong. She's not my enemy, she's my friend, without a doubt. But what can I do? What can I do to make everyone believe in Sakura? How? Ah, uh, Makoto, we got a big problem, man. What's wrong? Look. Hero's finger shook as he pointed. Are you okay? What happened? She... she killed her. Genocide Jill killed Hina! No, 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 she's not dead. Open your eyes. No way she's dead. Why, what happened? Well, Toko and Hina just all of a sudden they were yelling and then they knocked the pepper off the table. And that led to a sneeze. Her giant balloons are a little too perfect, aren't they? I might be flat, but at least mine are real. And look at my shapely collarbone. Doesn't it just totally set you on fire? Totally not adorable. Boys, just get her out of my sight, okay? Or else. I'll start cutting and cutting and cutting and indulge myself for who knows how long. Okay then, let's get Hina to the nurse's office. Come on, hero, help me. Uh, um. Sure thing. Genocide Jack's abrasive laugh chased us out of the room as we carried Hina away. By the time I finished taking care of Hina's injury in the nurse's office, she seemed to have finally regained her composure. Sorry. Thank you. Are you sure you're feeling better? Yeah, it really was just a scratch. <laughs> but still, that was super close. If I hadn't yelled out, you'd be dead right now. It's all thanks to me, you know. Yes, well, a thousand thanks to you, sir. So sarcastic. That just makes you sound even more hostile. Hey, Hina, what the heck happened? Oh, um, we just got into a fight and I lost my temper and flew off the handle. Let me guess, the fight was because of Sakura. But... 
At first, I tried to just ignore it. If you let jerk buttholes get to you all the time, then you'll never have time to left to live your life. But she wouldn't let it go, so I just... What the heck? Without thinking about it, I felt like I wanted to punch her like a dozen times. You're serious? A dozen punches isn't really without thinking. And when things got out of hand, Genocide Jack got let loose, right? Sorry. It's my own fault, but I just couldn't take it anymore. Because, because, because she was saying all those terrible things about my friend, you know? Before I knew it, Hina's eyes started welling up with tears. And just as the tears were on the brink of spilling over, the door to the nurse's office burst open. I thought the door was going to fly off its hinges. And there she stood before us. Hina. Huh? Sakura? You're hurt. What happened? Huh? Oh, nothing. It's not a big deal. Hey. Makoto Hiro, what's the meaning of this? <laughs> it wasn't me. It was Genocide Jill. It's all that demented, murderous fiend's fault. To hurt Hina, damn you. To leave me alone. But to hurt her, what is this? How dare you? What is this? <laughs> I'm okay, really. It's just a scratch. No forgiveness! I can't forgive this! Hero, if you want to hate someone, hate me. If you want to hurt someone, hurt me. I don't hate you exactly. I can't forgive this. Why? Somebody save me. Hero nearly tripped over himself as he ran screaming out of the nurse's office. But just a second later... What's going on? Hey. What's all this noise about? Kyoko stood in the doorway of the nurse's office, taking Hiro's spot in the room. I gather that something happened. Kyoko, please, you have to stop Sakura. Wait. You don't need to stop me. I'm okay. I'm not gonna do anything, I just... I'm drawing a line, right here, right now. Drawing a line. Wait, Sakura. Hina sprang into action, leaving the nurse's office to chase after Sakura. And the only ones left were... Alright, well I think this is where we're going to end it today. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.